All right, it's the next day. Let's see what she looks like. Wow. Very nice. That satin color, or satin clear looks really good. I think it was the right combination. I tried a couple different combinations of that, of that clear, at different ratios of flattening. At 20%, I think I did 15%, I did 20, 25, and then I fell on 30%. That's where it kind of came out, and I landed on this, and it looks great. It was just the right amount of clear flattening agent, I guess. All right, let's see. I see a couple little places that, um, I had some issues last night when I was shooting it. Something came out of the gun. Like sometimes things just like turn loose inside of the gun that are not cleaned out well and they spit out. It looks like something happened right there. Definitely came out of the gun. I remember it, uh, doing that. So not not terrible, but um, just little, little places. And then last night, I'm working in this booth, this makeshift booth, if you will. You know have these these lights up and at night man the bugs get crazy especially in the summertime so i have a ton of bugs fly into this thing just little gnats and just little moths and stuff that i'll have to contend with a little bit so we'll see i'm not sure if i can um i'm not sure if i can cut and polish this clear I think I can but I'm not sure that I'll lose you know if I'll lose the sheen or if it'll make speaking of bugs look at this like stuff like this. Oh, that's a monster. that would have happened last night maybe the left footprints all the way across the top of the roof anyway man it looks good uh, I really hope it looks good outside the sheen is perfect I think that ratio is right on all right uh, last piece of the puzzle here. I had to do the hood and deck lid separate. I just didn't have enough room in the booth, my makeshift booth. So uh, never mind the clutter. There's a lot of junk in here, but it gets the job done. So the hood is done. The deck lid is done. Everything is painted on the car with the exception of the trim pieces and, you know, odd and emblems that I'm going to do in black. And what else? Um, the grill. So I'm gonna do the grill in black. Now I did the I did the uh, hood in a in a really flat. I actually put a lot more flattening agent in the clear than I did everything else. So everything else is gonna have a little sheen to it. The hood I wanted to do like a typical old school race car. They paint, they painted these things flat black to reduce the hood uh, glare from the sun. Excuse me, the sun glare off the hood uh, in racing applications. So that's kind of the history of the black hoods. The you know the muted flat black hoods and so I kind of want to go that same vibe um, so I put a little bit more flattening agent in it and it really flattened it out so almost I did about a 50 50 mix on that one which I really dig I'm not gonna do the trim that's black quite that muted I'm gonna do it the same sheen as the car so it'll have a little bit more of a shine to it just the hood but man they turn out great everything looks really good super happy with the color um, that's a really hard color to paint. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not a huge fan of painting metallics. They're often kind of problematic. Um, I don't have the best, the best uh, metallic paint gun. I use um, really just some cheaper Husky guns and I have a DeVilvis gun for uh, clearing. But uh, the HVLP deal that I've got doesn't bust up those metallics as well as some others do. So I got a little modeling effect in this in this metallic, which I, I'm not a real fan of. What that is is um, I don't think this decklet has much of it going on, but basically it's kind of splotchy in some places. I know on the, the roof of the car I saw outside looks that way and kind of you know distracts your eye a little bit. It doesn't look quite as uniformly coated. It's coated, it's covered well, it just has a little splotchiness to it. It can cause what they call tiger striping when you spray across. Um, for instance, if you're spraying across this hood 
like that and the you get a little splotchiness in that stripe that you did you can cause it to look like there's a streak in there so you got to be really careful with that uh, and i tried to to paint it in the way where i wouldn't have very much of that going on but man it's hard so um anyway other than that color looks fantastic i really like this color i was not a fan at first i couldn't decide really if i liked it i liked it i loved it i hated it um but i didn't really know what it was gonna like until i got it covered enough on the car uh, to really make a difference and I think you can see the contrast between this color and the black man that's gonna look amazing together they really complement each other very well uh, so I'm really digging that all right let's go outside show you the car and the in the sunlight all right here's the car and it looks pretty good I'm pretty pleased with it obviously you know you look at things and you're like go back and say man i'll to just take a little bit more time here or there you can nitpick things to death but uh you know i'm really pleased with the way it turned it turned out um obviously i have a lot of cleanup to do i gotta do the engine compartment next actually gotta pull the engine and transmission out of it but uh, for the most part the car looks fantastic um, really digging this color you can see in the sunlight after it's got a little bit of heat and time on it it's really you know flattened out it really has that denim look that we were going for so that 30 percent flattening agent and our clear really was the right right way to go i don't know maybe you can see this on camera I get down you kind of see what i call that modeling effect and that's where the there's kind of splotchiness the way the metallics laid down when you when i sprayed it um i don't know if you can see that or not it's very faint it's one of those things where 99 percent of people won't even ever notice it but when you're picky and it's your project you you tend to pick up on all those little things um but other than that man i think this thing looks killer so we're gonna go back with blacked out windows so i'm gonna tint some windows for it um, these in these moldings and trim here are going to actually go back black so they're not finished and you can see a little bit of roughness here because that's also going to get painted black the, the drip rail the outside drip rail so drip rails these pieces will go black blacked out tinted windows um, blacked out rear window the trim that goes around the back windshield and the front windshield will also be blacked out and that's satin black the hood will be satin black wheels and uh i think the wheels are going to be black maybe a dark gray and then um this back section back here around the tail lights and across the back section just this area right here is going to be blacked out too sort of like the old school big block chevy muscle cars so yeah it's pretty pretty ba i'm really i'm really excited about this thing um i want it all blacked out inside it's going to get a black in headliner in it um I've got black and gray Recaro seats. So really nice bolstered Recaros. They're gonna go in here to be the front and passenger side uh, seats in it. Of course, it's gonna get rid of the, the automatic transmission and we're gonna go with a uh, with a five-speed transmission. It's gonna be moved back a little bit. That's one of the reasons I'm getting rid of the bench seat. I kind of dig the bench seat, but I need the extra space for my shifter. So I went, you know, had to go to a bucket style. Um, I'm gonna put the factory seat back in the back probably have it recovered at some point to match the Recaro's But for now, I'm gonna end up just kind of doing a, a black rear seat factory style I might even just dye the one that I have and it's not gonna get a lot of wear and tear on it Just want it to be uniform black in there and I've got new door panels that we're gonna put in it. They're black of course headliner Big stuff that's gonna happen engine transmission out new engine transmission combination in Got to make a place for the shifter, got to install the seats. Um, other big things, wheels and tires, got to be done. That's pretty easy. Uh, what else? We've got uh, some stereo stuff coming. That'll be fun. I can do a little system in the, in the car. Can't have a OG ride without a little bump in the trunk. So we're going to do that. Just going to replace the head unit pretty basic stuff just want something that sounds good when we're cruising down the road on trips yeah we gotta get the windshield back uh glass in 
lot to be done.